Well, welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. And today is Memorial Day 2012. And my daughter and I have been up here enjoying the primitive life for a while. And I thought I'd just say a couple things and give you a kind of an update on, uh, on our campsite up here. Of course, you're looking right now at our container cabin. That big blue thing is just my little bitty trailer that I pull behind my Jeep Wrangler. And I keep it locked up and, and covered like that. And you can see the American flag at our flagpole for the campsite in the background. And there's no smoke coming out of the chimney now because it's the afternoon. But i got to tell you, this morning when I checked the temperature after being up for a while, outside it was a little below 40 degrees. And in short order with the fireplace going and inside the refrigerated reefer container cabin, it was 75. So my, uh, my five-year-old stayed in bed until the fire got going good and uh, then she got up and got dressed and we've had a, a very pleasant time up here very quiet and peaceful this morning about 15 feet away from well no about 30 feet I guess yeah yeah 30 35 feet away from the door of the container cabin we had a big Tom turkey and his two ladies come strutting through camp and we came out and watched him, and he just kind of looked at us, and it was just, you know, you're on our property, we're not on yours. He was in no hurry to leave. Um, one of the things I want to say in this, in this particular uh, video is that if you're considering a low-impact, low-maintenance, wonderful way to have a secure, uh, off-the-grid um, place to go, and you have a piece of property, a reefer container like this is a wonderful idea because it's got thick insulation. And that insulation means that when you have that fire going on inside, it keeps you really warm. Now, we're getting a little wind now. You can see. It's the afternoon. Last night, I got up about 1.30 in the morning up here. We've got no lights around anywhere. About 1.30 and went outside to take care of uh, business. And looked up and I could, with my own bare eyes, could see the Milky Way streaking across the mount, uh, from mount to mount. Um, and boy, you just don't see that in the city anymore. So there are a lot of reasons to come up here. One of them is just to enjoy nature. We've had lots of wildlife around and there is a lot of wildlife around here. But it's also a very special time because when you're off the grid, guess what? There's no internet. There's no cell phones. All those things that really make a big intrusion on our lives, not to mention television. And uh, so this has been a real special time for my daughter and I up here. And uh, so there's a lot more to it than just simply being a bug out shelter. You know, uh, you know, without getting too negative here a few weeks ago, we had a guy that was in the media called um, a survivalist who had spent eight years building a beautiful bunker uh, underground at Rattlesnake Ridge here in Washington State. And I guess he finally decided it was time to go and so he proceeded to go uh, get up one night and he promptly shot his wife to death in bed and then he went into his daughter's 18 year old beautiful young woman's uh, daughter's room and shot her to death. And that wasn't enough. Then he killed the family pets the dog and the cat, and then he took off for his secluded bunker in the mountains. Well, thank goodness they got him. He had spent over eight years making that hideaway bunker, and it only took him about, oh, I think, about a week to finally find him. And, uh, you know, and then instead of giving himself up, uh, when they closed in, he, uh, he took the coward's way out and committed suicide. So if you're one of these crazy um, preppies who have that kind of thing in mind, you need to look somewhere else. Because what I've got here essentially is, a, is an insulated tin tent. And it's a great place for a family or to come and get away and enjoy yourself. And I just, I just you know, really want to um, separate myself from 
those kinds of survivalists. Some months ago, I had one of these television programs that are all the rage now call up, and they asked me, well, how long, how long have you been a preppy? Well, you know, as a Boy Scout, eight years old, I learned, be prepared, have fun, be responsible, all those other things. So I've been a preppy for a long time, but I'm not one of those crazies like, uh, like that guy that uh, went to Rattlesnake Ridge. Let's take a little look around. I want to say hello too. Let me make sure we're still, still seem to be working. I want to say hello too so you can see who I am. I'm wearing my special hat. Um, had one person comment about that. Say, is that an animal on your head? Well, anyway, it is. And uh, this is out of the, the great Voyager and Trapper tradition of the Pacific Northwest. Anyway, I'll take you and we'll, we'll walk around a little bit before the camera goes off. And I hope this will be of, of interest to you. What I really want to stress, you know, I'm going to bounce things around a little bit now, so I hope you don't mind. What I want to stress is that a lot of people talk about container living, container home, and so on and so forth. But this is a reefer, refrigerated container. And it's set up in a way so that when you're inside, I have that door uh, closed, and we have kind of a curtain, and that's really all we need up here in the wilderness. That's more than adequate. And then we have this stove pipe coming out the side. Let me ring this for you. And I'll walk around the back. And I chose to have the stove come out like this so that I wouldn't have a leak in the roof. And I did this very same walk in one of the other videos when there was a lot of snow. It's a little easier now. And I just walk around. We've got a a crick going down there and I hear my daughter coming out. Clump, 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 clump. And she wants to wants to take that bird nest back and show the people at school. Hi there. How are you? Spider web. Yeah. So I'm just walking out towards the flag again. And I just want to stress to anyone that's listening. Yes. I want to pick the, I want to have the bird's nest to take home. Okay. And we'll just pivot around here. You can see right there and I showed this in the winter time too. There's our our campfire ring and you get just a different view and this is 40 foot refrigerated container and the critical critical thing is that it's up off the ground it's on what are called ecology blocks and those ecology blocks um, keep it up where it's off off the snow and it won't have problems like that and where I was um, making the video before was from the porch of our outhouse We'll walk around here just a little bit farther. A lot of people say, well, why don't you show us the inside of the container cabin? Well, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, you want to go potty? Yeah. Well, first things first with a five-year-old. Let's go over here and get a shot inside the outhouse as we close that. Just a second, Sarah. Let me open the... I'll get it for you. All right. There's our state-of-the-art outhouse. Okay, go ahead and go in, Sarah. I'll hold the door for you. Okay. Close it. Okay, there we go. Well, I apologize. I wanted to take you inside the container cabin. But, uh, you know, uh, certain things come first. I think what I'll do is I'll let her just come out. She'll be okay. Uh, and I'll walk back over here so that you can, before the, this one video turns off, you can get a look. Now let's, let's remember something. This is a primitive cabin off the grid. You're going to look in it and it's going to be kind of messy. And that's all right. That's all right. Because this is our camp. One thing I do want to point out, you can see right there on my desk, there's my deadwood stove. 